Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Figma have released some new updates and basically it has changed the workflow, especially when it comes to creating components. In this video, I'll show you how you can create components and apply the text property, which I believe you might have noticed the changes. And also, I will be introducing variables and how you can use them in your component. If you're new to my channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button and let's get into it. To get started, I'm going to um, select one of this item here and command D to duplicate, then drag this out so that we can create a component out of this. So the first thing here is to try to convert this to a component. And after which we can then try to apply the component property. The initial version of Figma, when you click this, you can just quickly apply that property over here. But with this new release, you have to come over here where you have this text, click on this, and then you need to click on the plus sign to add a new property. So let's say label, and we now have our label property. And if I should select this and command D to create a variant, I'll drag this outside. And you see, we have our text here. So this is going to be hello world, something like that. So we have our property. So the next thing I want to show you is that you can now apply variable at your component properties. I'm going to select this. The first thing to do here, I'm just going to detach this since you now know how to add the properties. Now we can delete this. The next thing I'm going to do is to click on the empty space and click on variables. Now I'm going to add a new variable called language like so. And the first value here is going to be, let's say this is um, English and I'll have the word good morning saved here. Then we can add another mode, which is going to be FR French. And this is going to be bonjour. So now that we have this, if you try to create a new mode and it requests that you update your Figma to a professional plan. I'll be linking a video in the description below on how to update your Figma plan to a pro plan for free. Now let's continue. I'm going to close that section and then come back in here. So we can now select this global Forex. And the next thing is to apply this variable we've just created. I'm going to now select language here, which is good morning in English. That's the default written. So now how can we then use this? I can click on assets and um, let's say drag this and drop this somewhere here. So command X, let me just select this. I believe this has been grouped. So once I've done this, the next thing here is to select the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So let's say we have other list of words. All I need to do is to go to appearance and select this. Then on the collection, by default, you see it's English. I can then switch to French. You see, this has automatically changed to bonjour. Imagine all these other ones are also converted or translated to French. So your whole app can be transformed to another language with this variable future. If you're new to my channel, you can kindly hit the subscribe button for more tutorial tips.